All right, so this bad cop story is going to be a lesson in job security. Here's what you probably shouldn't do if you want to keep your job. You shouldn't be like Aurora police officer Douglas Wilkerson out of Colorado, and you probably shouldn't mock your department's diversity efforts. And on top of that, you probably shouldn't have an investigation done into you that finds that you violated the city's anti-harassment policy. You know, as my old drill sergeant, drill sergeant Neubauer, as he would say, this person doesn't sound like a team player. He sounds like an individual. And we don't have room for individuals on a team. There is no I in team, Douglas Wilkinson. All right. And that's why right now you have you you no longer have have a freaking job. You have been upgraded to customer. And so the Aurora police chief, who was Vanessa Wilson, terminated Officer Douglas Wilkinson, who was actually the former president of the Aurora Police Association. And it was discovered that this man violated the city's anti-harassment policy and the department's directive on discrimination, harassment and sexual harassment. This man emailed 235 department employees on November the 16th, the department said in a statement. And in those emails, he called the recent diversity initiative sexist and racist towards white men. That is holy smokes. That is some real fragility, man. That is fragility to the max. But but it gets even better. It gets even better. Five employees complain about Wilkinson's email, according to the Aurora, <laughs> the Aurora police, which prompted the investigation. And Wilkinson was on Ministry of Leave since November. So basically, you had other officers who said, man, this sounds um, awfully racist and awfully sexist. And um, this is um, very unbecoming of, of, a, of a figure police officer. Let's so um, let's go tell. So basically, it was other officers, not citizens, not Black Lives Matter, not the freaking Black Panthers, not freaking Antifa. It was other cops who thought this shit was racist and sexist. So man, that is just delicious. I tell you what, if, even if you make that into a freaking Cinnabon, you couldn't make that any more damn delicious. And the icing on top of this bacon sundae comes in the form of a federal consent decree. And a federal consent decree is, a, is an agreement between a city and its police department. Whereas that agreement is meant to ensure that that department follows all constitutional and legal mandates to not abuse citizens or abuse its power. So that came as a result of the 2019 death of Elijah McClain. And Elijah McClain, rest in peace, and your death is clearly not in vain because another pig has been fired.